So you have your database set up on software and you want to start collecting information from your users or visitors. The simplest way to do so is by using form blocks where users can simply fill in the form and then submit it right to you. Let's take a look at all the options that software provides for us. On Software Studio, we'll hit the Add Block button, and the first category under the Dynamic tab is Form, because all the form either require database connection or integration with other services that are dynamic. Expanded, we can see four types of blocks provided thus far. The first two are the most simple to use. You don't have to do much about it. Simply plug them in, modify the text and style, connect them with your newsletter tools such as MailChimp or MailerLite, or you can hook it up with your Zapier or Make. If you don't know what they are, don't worry, videos are coming soon, so subscribe to stay tuned. Or you can simply send the user's submission right to your email. With the first two options, the only difference is that one can show a specific address that you can configure from the block settings. These two blocks are simple, but limited because you can't really do much with the fields. And if you want to collect information outside of the provided ones, or you want to send the information right into your Airtable instead, look into the next two, namely customizable form and sales form with labels. These two are both customizable. The only difference would be where the labels are placed. So I would simply be using the customizable form as the example here. To make use of a customizable form, first connect it to a destination. Other than the ones mentioned previously, here we get an option to send it to our data source. Select the Airtable base that you want to hook it up with and pick a table that you want the data to be sent to. I have a table called Forms already made here, so I'm going to pick this table. With the data source set up, let's decide on what kind of information that we want to collect from your users or visitors. By default, software already set up some fields for us. We can style each field from the drop-down menu here, or we can delete the ones that we don't want to use in our forms. What's different from the first two form blocks is that we can add new fields and specify each field's input type. And these input types all have their counterparts on the Airtable side called field types. Once you have decided on all the fields for your users to input, simply create the same fields on your Airtable side and map them all up accordingly with the map to drop down. Make sure that the input types and the field types are consistent. Some naming conventions are a bit different from um, Airtable to software. For example, the file type on software is called the attachment type on Airtable, but they're essentially the same. Once enabled, the file type will allow user to upload a file or an attachment to the Airtable. Some input types might not even exist on Airtable, for example, hidden fields or an address. To solve this problem, simply use either single line text or long text type on the Airtable side. I have a more in-depth video about data types. If you're interested to learn more about data types, check it out. Once you have mapped all the fields and are happy with the copywriting on the labels, placeholders, or the submit button, and you have styled them all, you can then configure what happens after the user submit their forms. You can either make them stay on the same page and provide a success message after submission, or you can direct them to another page of your choice. And there you have it. This is all the basics about form blocks. Form blocks can be used in a more advanced way with hidden fields and also linked records. But those concepts, um, I will cover them in a separate video in the future. So subscribe if you want to see more content about software or no code in general. If you find this video helpful, consider um, liking this video, share this with your fellow no coders, uh, and comment down below to let me know what kind of content you want to see down the line. Until next time, ciao.